Hey there, uh, this is just another little video on translating words to math with a little um, tricky wording thing I want to go over here. And what we're going to do is that you're only going to see one of these questions, but I want you to understand the difference between these and how to parse that out and figure out how to turn that into a mathematical expression between those two different options. So in the first one, we have the difference of the quotient of M and N and P. And that, that is tough to wrap your mind around. I'm not thrilled with how this is written, but I know this is one of the questions you're going to see, so I want to just go through it. So um, looking at our solution here, we start with, we see we have the difference of something. And the key here is we know that that means, to start off, that two things are going to be subtracted. So there's my minus sign in red matching up with the fact that this is going to be the difference of two things. Now, what is it the difference of? What are the two things? Well, one of them there in blue is the quotient of M and N. And the other thing in green is P. So it is the difference of, that means there's two things. What are the two things? One in blue here and one in P. Now this thing in blue, what is the quotient of M and N? Let's ignore everything else and just think about that blue. Quotient means division. And one way we like to write that is with a fraction. So there is the quotient of M and N, M divided by N or N over N in a fraction form. So that's the one thing that we're, we're taking the difference of. The other thing is P. So there we go. Let's write that as a final answer, M over N minus p is the difference of two things, the quotient of m and n and p. Um, <clears throat> on to b, uh, very similar except you see that the words difference and quotient were switched. So we're going to start with saying this is going to be the quotient of two things. Well, how do we write the quotient of two things? Again, we're using fraction form here. We will talk a little at the end about the possibility of using the division sign. But uh, one of the ways we write a quotient is something divided by something, something over something in fraction form. So there's a fraction bar, which is going to allow us to take the quotient of two things. One will go on the top, one will go on the bottom. What are the two things? Well, again, one of them here in blue the two things we're taking the quotient of, of are the difference of M and N. And the other thing is P. So one thing, the difference of M and N, the other thing P. This is going to go on the top. This is going to go on the bottom. So now it's just a matter of putting them there. M minus N on the top, because that is the difference of M and N. That means we subtract them. And we put the P on the bottom. And let's write a final answer there. M minus N on the top and P on the bottom, the, the quotient of the difference of M and N and P. The quotient of fraction, the difference of M and N, M minus N and P, P on the bottom of the quotient. Um, just very quickly, um, let's see, we're gonna just look at what we could, we could have used the division sign. Um, so let's just really quickly look at this. So another way to say the quotient of M and N would have been M divided by N. So we could have actually written this like so. And you got to be careful and think through order of operations. This over here, you're going to divide the M and the N first, then subtract the P. Think through bed mass, the division will come first. You'll divide M and N first, then subtract the P. That's all good. And then this one down here, another, we could say this quotient instead of a fraction bar, we could say a division sign. But here you have to be very careful. You have to put that M minus N in a bracket because the M minus N has to happen first here, right? You subtract M and N, then you divide by P. So you need to put the M and the N, the M minus N in a bracket. So you subtract M minus N first, then divide by P. You cannot write it like this. This says M minus order of operations, M minus N divided by P. So you do the N divided by P first and then subtract. That is not the same as this thing over here. Incorrect on that one. So that would be another way to write these. Um, there's your two options on the left using the fraction sign for division, on the right using the division sign for division.